Okay, thanks, Pete. Well, it's that time. It's Friday. It's Fitness Friday, and we're here with our fitness guru, Jeremy G uh, Freeman from Well Rounded Health and Fitness. Good morning. In uh, East Syracuse. And, Jeremy, we're going to be talking about uh, gluten free foods. Yes, gluten free foods. I mean, right now you hear everywhere, you know, gluten free this, gluten free that, and uh, most people don't understand why it's important to go with a gluten free diet, mm -hmm. uh, especially with kids nowadays. You know, when you hear of somebody that has autism or has AD, ADHD or ADHD, mm -hmm. um, one of the first dietary suggestions is to cut out the gluten. Well, let's and, take uh, a look at some of the products that are available. Uh, you have this, uh, you have special, you know, regular waffles, you have quinoa. Amarath waffles. Yep, exactly. Rather than a regular waffle that has wheat or gluten in it, uh, your gluten-free Bizquick. We can bake pancakes, or even a, a, a you know mac and cheese. Like a lot of kids eat mac and cheese, uh, but you have a lot of different uh, you know snacks here, like right. some pretzels or some chips. You know, of course, your your, your classic rice cakes, and even your breads. Uh -huh. Okay, if you think about the way the American public eats, Let's most take a look at this. most of their foods. Um, are full of wheat and gluten. Right. You know, from your bagels, your breads, your pastas, your pizza, you know, all those things are loaded with wheat and gluten. And the right. reason why it's important to, yeah. to take those out is because um, they have what's called, wheat and gluten has what's called a, a, an agglutinating lectin, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's simply like a glue, and it makes your red blood cells stick together and coagulate. And when that happens, your body excretes those red blood cells. And if that's happening, your red blood cells carry your nutrients, number one, so it slows the metabolic process. Mm -hmm. And number two, it uh, your, your red blood cells carry your oxygen, okay? So okay. if you don't have that oxygen, you don't have that energy, you don't think clearly. Uh, and of course, if your metabolic process is slowing down, then now you're increasing, uh, you're, you're you know, increasing your body's ability to, of course, gain weight. Right. Which is part of the reason why we have such a problem with obesity in this country. Right. So also you hear, of course, about celiac disease, which right. is, you know, a, a problem with wheat and gluten. What happens there is that wheat and gluten yeah. gets into the intestinal tract and it increases fermentation and, of course, bloating and also malabsorption. Right. So putting in foods like these here can help to avoid a lot of those issues. Okay. So there you go. Jeremy Freeman, well-rounded health and fitness, talking about the benefits of having a gluten-free diet, better digestion, and a lot of other health benefits. Just another fitness tip here on Fitness Fridays. We'll be right back.